welcome to the Tamworth Country Music Festival 2011. <laughs> no bull, just real country. Listen to the music on the screen. I love my country. has been brilliant this year, so what does Tamworth and the Tamworth Country Music Festival mean to you? Uh, it means uh, a large slice of my life, I think. Um, I've been involved since oh, the late 60s, I guess, so it's a long, long time, more than 40 years, in fact. Hello, how are you? Very well, thank you're you. You're looking special. Oh, and yourself tonight. I'm, I know. I'm pretty lucky with my date, though, Kim Ritchie. That's very cool. Hello. It is. <laughs> she said no to me. <laughs> Well, it's she said she was doing her hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've had a bit of effort gone into the hair tonight, um, but it's nice to be here at last. We're on the carpet. Is, what does the Tamworth Country Music Festival mean to you? Well, um, this year being the 40th year, um, a lot of memories uh, for me. Um, and, you know, like there's professional memories and there's personal memories, but I won't go into them. <laughs> I'm having the best time. I've been here for 10 days and it's like being at the Olympic Games in 2000. Everybody's been so fantastic. There, uh, there's a warmth in the, uh, from all the public and the artists. It's just a really sensational event. And I think Sydney can learn so much from, from Tamworth. And you've had a long-term personal love of country music that you've, and you've just been exposed in the most beautiful way. I've been burned in a burning ring of fire. I've been down, 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 and the flame's gone higher. And it burns, 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 that ring of fire, that ring of fire. So next year, will you be up for a golden guitar? I'm, I, I want to be up for a golden guitar. I'm going to put a record out this year. Rogers! How you doing? Oh, it's good. Uh, what, how, what do you think of the festival so far, Kenny? What do you think of the festival so far? What do I think of it? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. There we yeah, go. Big. And I bumped into this guy. It was so random walking down Peel Street with a guitar. I actually thought he was a busker and it turned out to be Tommy Emanuel. Yeah. How are you? Good. Well, I have bust in, in Peel Street. Have you? Well, how do you think I paid for my guitar? Come on. <laughs> I think uh, you just need to buy a bigger case because I reckon you oh, do right. quite all right in Peel Street. Yeah. Tax free too, did you know tax that? Really? <laughs> yeah. No, there's no such thing as tax free these days. No, so. there isn't. There is no. no such thing as a free lunch either. I learned that. Yes, and tax, you should. <laughs> You've got 15 venues where you, want to see, you can see your bush ballads. If you like your cowpunk or whatever it is, yep. you know, you've got a venue that'll do that. Uh, it's, there's a music here for everybody. It's a music festival. Oh, it is. It is. And it's terrible if people have a beef with cowpunk, you know, that's just terrible. I don't even know what cowpunk is. Uh, that's why I picked up on that because that's a little bit different. But I like beef. I like beef too. There's yeah. nothing wrong. Organic beef is far better. And see, that's the other beautiful thing about Sam Worth is. As friendly, friendly people with a few drinks in them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Friends you've never met yet. Yeah. Well, we're still at Trek and you can hear behind me the Star Maker Finals on. Come on through, let's have a look. I've got my party hat on, so let's go. 
Star Maker over the years has provided us with some of the best talent in Australian country music. I mean, we've seen James Blundell, we've seen uh, Gina Jeffries. It's absolutely wonderful the uh, the opportunities that these kids are given uh, with the Star Maker uh, competition. I mean, the prize for it alone is a record contract uh, with a fuel card and a car. It is absolutely wonderful for them and a great kickstart to their career. Behind me, you can hear uh, Louise Ellis uh, doing comedy country, which I never thought I'd see at uh, the Star Maker competition, but she's bringing it. We had a chat to her yesterday. It, she's a wonderful girl, and I think it's about time that we had a chat to some of the other great finalists for the Star Maker competition. Well, we've seen all the action right out the front on stage, but this is the nerve centre. Not as in control, but nerve as in stress. We're backstage at the uh, Star Maker competition. So come on through and we're going to see some of the uh, people that actually make it possible. Not only do we have some great talent here, but these are the people that I think make the talent look absolutely amazing. This is.